what's good youtube dm gaming here guys and hope everybody's having an awesome morning afternoon evening night whenever it is that you're watching this video guys if y'all run the live stream earlier y'all know that we've seen gameplay uh also y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't be a point extra get out the portal get on a five-star team be a five-star player by clicking the subscribe button we almost hit 50,000 subscribers but guys I want to share my thoughts on the gameplay that I've seen so far. I was very skeptical at first to watch gameplay. I didn't want, I thought it was going to ruin the experience, the, the thrill of the excitement of experiencing the gameplay and knowing what to expect, but it didn't do that. Uh, watching the gameplay really, really made me even more excited to play the game. And it didn't spoil it. I can't wait to experience it myself. Now, as far as gameplay that's been put out there, we tried watching some stuff on Twitch. It is just, it's a mess on Twitch. You know, my opinion personally. YouTube, um, Eric Rayweather and not, not the expert. Those two probably had the, hands down, easily the best gameplay on YouTube because they went and played the game and they didn't put their face in the picture. They didn't they didn't talk. They just let the game sell itself and sell itself it did. Guys, kudos to Eric. Kudos to not not the expert. Because guys, this game sells itself. And I guess that's that's could be the summary or the title so much of my thoughts on this game. Now, is it perfect? No, it is not. There are things it, that 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 go along with a football game, video game, but the game sells itself. The positives outweigh the negatives. One thing, if I can improve anything on the game, it would be. Um, I, I, I'm curious about this one actually, because Eric was uh, playing his Dynasty thing, showing Dynasty gameplay, and they had a studio update. Now, I don't know. We couldn't figure out if he was skipping it because the guy in the studio was saying he was talking about the other game, other games, but they wasn't showing any like stats or anything about the other games. So we didn't know if maybe he was skipping it or that is the studio update. If it is, that's fine. I would have liked to have like a little cut scene where they show, you know, graphics showing stats from the other games and stuff like that. At the end of the third quarter in one of his games, they did bring up a stat showing like the top 25 teams in the playoff race and stuff. Presentation wise, things like that are awesome to see. And that is the type of stuff that I did not get to see in other people's gameplay, except for not the expert and Eric Ray, Ray, uh, Rayweather. Kudos to y'all again. I can't praise y'all enough for that. Because if I was new to this, never having seen the game or anything like that it would be a tough decision for me to watch these other content creators games and say do i want to buy this game only because they're cutting out so much of the game i understand you're trying to make a shorter video but guys if i'm watching a full i don't mind watching a full length game without somebody's picture in the in the frame, without somebody's Twitch stuff going off and all of that. And it ain't nothing against guys like that. Nothing against that at all. But guys, this, content creators, this is a game that sells itself, okay? Now that everybody's seen it, okay, now you can start doing your videos with your face in there and chopping it up so it ain't as long to watch and stuff like that. But if you're trying to show people gameplay, Eric and not the expert have have wrote a textbook on how to do it. Shut up and let the game sell itself because sell itself it does. I implore y'all to watch their videos. I'll put a link to it. Try to put a link to it in the pinned comment because guys and, and we'll later Eric is going to do um, the uniform thing. Going to check that out for sure. This game looks fun. This game looks inviting. We were sitting in the chat watching this game. Okay, they were sitting, we were sitting on the stream watching this game, watching Eric play. And guys, it felt, I'm going to say this, and this is true. It felt like watching college football on TV. You didn't know what was going to happen next. There was even one play 
where uh, the computer, now guys, the computer, I'll get to that in a second, but the computer threw a touchdown pass and it got called back because of blocking in the back. He scored the touchdown, the crowd erupted, the commentators are talking, and then here comes the flag, and it's like the energy just changed. One thing I wish that they would improve is in situations like that, have the crowd go from cheering to booing. Because you couldn't tell a difference. I mean, the crowd was still ecstatic and cheering, and I'm like, here's a flag, the play's coming back. You know what I'm saying? Let's change that maybe in the final build of the game. I don't know. But it was exciting to see because it was so unexpected. The computer knew how to run the ball. They knew how to pass the ball. They knew how to make tackles. It was almost as if you were watching somebody else who was skilled at the game play against him. And it was fun. The atmosphere at, at Penn State was amazing. It was electrifying. It was a whiteout game. The graphics were on point. The lighting was on point. You know, the, the plays, big plays from both sides, the game sold itself. And this is what's crazy. It wasn't even Kurt and Brad commentating the game. I mean, Fowler, Eric Fowler. They wasn't even commentating. It was Reese Davis now. They didn't even have the best commentary team on for the game, dude. And yet this game still was electric. I can't imagine. And I wonder this too as far from a presentation point standpoint. If the game is the game of the week, does that change the presentation to be a little bit more over the top? Because, hey, it's game of the week. You know what I'm saying? I really hope so. But I didn't get a chance to watch a game of the week. Does that make sense? And, you know, other people's games was just play now games. So you're not going to get the dynasty feel to it, the dynasty cutscenes and things of that nature. So I'm interested to see that with 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 um, with Fowler and 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 Herb Street commentating. But guys, the game sells itself. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. I am super excited to play this game. I can already see myself getting lost in this game. In some content creators, I understand y'all want to let people see how it is from start to finish. But guys, I want y'all who are watching those types of videos, don't get dismayed. Because guys, there is a journey in between that that, that you're not experiencing yourself. And when you get your hands on this game, you're going to have a totally different experience. And I'm not saying in a bad way. You're going to have a more, let me rephrase that. You're going to have a more immersive experience because now you're the one in the driver's seat. If I, I, I don't sit here and watch people play games too much. But dude, I have yet to stop watching gameplay of people playing this game. It is freaking awesome. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. There was even a touchdown catch that us in the chat kind of thought, oh, I don't know if that was a touchdown or not. They ruled it a touchdown. They didn't challenge it. But when they showed it again in instant replay, it was like, okay, he did make an athletic move. Physics seems very real in here. You'll see players get tackled. Um, uh, Eric, actually, on that same touchdown or on one touchdown Penn State was running, he was his player, he dove, and his player tripped up his own player in front of him. Hadn't seen that happen in a while. Or ever, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The blocking, the offensive line, I have to give kudos to them. One, I've seen screenplays ran, and the screenplays even look good from a lineman standpoint. They are looking. You can see them actively looking for people to go and block, not just moseying on out there into the flats and a single foul line holding their hands. No, they were hauling butt out there to, to try to find somebody to block. Screenplays look fun. The, the offenses look explosive. The plays are explosive. The, the, the formations, the schemes. And, and I know people crap on defense to say defense. That, guys, the defenses will adjust. The more people play this game, the better they're going to get at defense. One of the hardest adjustments in playing any new football game, even like Madden 25, is going to be different than 24. The biggest adjustments are always made on defense. OK, but once people start settling in and knowing how to play defense, knowing how to disguise coverage, knowing how to break on balls and stuff like that, then you're not going to see these super high scoring games. But at the end of the day, guys, it's college football. You see blowouts all the time. You see 54 to 14s and stuff. And another thing that I liked, 
uh, seeing other people play, you see them playing against these big time schools with these smaller programs and you literally see the challenge in trying to beat one of those schools. And it's dang near impossible. It's dang near impossible. Maybe if you play on the lowest difficulty setting or something like that. But I am excited for this game. I like what I see overall. We saw a game in the snow. The snow looks good. Um, the, the rain looks good. The weather looks good. I've seen some people saying this, and I do agree with them. I really wish that they did have dynamic day-night cycles. That would be phenomenal. It's been in previous college football games. It's been in previous games. Haven't seen it in this one. You have dynamic uh, attendance. We need dynamic weather where the rain, if it's raining, it's not just raining the entire game. The rain comes and goes. The intensity comes and goes. Same thing with the snow. Dynamic weather and dynamic day-night cycles or time cycles. Let me say that. You know what I'm saying? If the game starts at 6, the sun is still up. The, the sun shouldn't still be up by the time the game's over. You know, kind of speed it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So those two things are things that can be added to the game that I've seen off top from an immersion, immersion standpoint. Um, from a gameplay standpoint, yet I'm still just processing everything. I, I, you know, I think once I get my hands on it, I'll be able to see, okay, this needs to be changed. This needs to be upgraded. I can see some depth with this. But guys, for a football game that has not been out in 11 years, and this is the starting point. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, you say it in the past, how can they improve on this? But I am literally wondering how can they improve on this game. Maybe next year ESPN jumps in and doesn't steal the presentation, but rather adds to it. This is one of those games where I'm like in Dynasty mode. If College Game Day was a part of it, oh my gosh, it'd blow the top off of presentation. I think the halftime show could be a little bit better as well. Maybe some in-studio kind of stuff. You got the cutscene technology to do it. You got the voices to do it. You know, the game is fun. The game is nice. Let's get even more immersed into this game. I will be playing this game. I literally went and bought me a pair of headphones just to play this game. Okay. I can't wait. I'm excited. And I want to know y'all's thoughts down in the comment section down below. Guys, I'm excited. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.